In this video, I want to go over count the divisors of a number problem on Code Wars. And what I want you to do is to count the number of divisors of a positive integer n. Now, if we look over here at the function, the input that they provide us is n, and this is the integer that we find all the divisors of. Now, let's look over here at some examples. Say for the first example, n will be 4. What we return at the end is 3 because there are three divisors of 4. Now, what a divisor is, as you didn't already know, is it's essentially a number that divides evenly into n. So 1, 1 2, n, 4 all divide evenly into n. A number like 3 or 5 would not divide evenly into n, so it is not a divisor. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to start out by creating a variable called divisors, and this is going to keep track of all the divisors of n. So we're going to say divisors is equal to 0. Next. In order to solve this problem, we're going to iterate from 1 to n, and for every integer from 1 to n, we're going to check to see if it divides evenly into n. If it does, that means it's a divisor, and we can increment divisors by 1. So we'll just say for i in range of 1 to n. However, if you think about it, this isn't the most efficient way of doing it because there is no number greater than n divided by 2 other than n that divides evenly into n. If that didn't make sense, let me show you an example over here. So 12 is n. If we divide 12 by 2, that would give us 6. There is no number greater than 6 that divides evenly into 12 other than itself. And that, that holds true for any uh, integer. So we can divide this by 2 to iterate over half the numbers. However, if there's another issue that arises because of this. Say n was odd, like 13. That would mean n by 2, or n divided by 2, would be 6.5. Well, you can have not have floating point decimal numbers in this range function. So what we can do is use a floor divisor, which is two division, uh, two forward slashes. And what this does is, if it's a integer, what it does is it slashes off that 0.5. So say n divided by 2 is 6.5, floor division would convert that into 6, and then that would work. This also brings up another issue. The range function is non-inclusive, meaning that if n divided by 2 is 50, this would go from 1 to 49. It would go up to but not including the number that we specify here. So what we need to do in order to get it to exactly half or at least half of n, we need to add 1 to it because the range function is non-inclusive. Now we are set. And all we have to do is to see if i, or every integer from 1 to n divided by 2, divides evenly into n. So we can say if n modulus i is equal to 0, which this is essentially saying if i can divide evenly into n, what we're going to do is we're going to increment divisors by 1. So divisors plus equals 1. At the end of iterating throughout every integer from 1 to n divided by 2, we have all the divisors other than n itself. So what we have to do is we can return divisors. However, it say for this example, n was 12. We will have the divisors 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. We won't have n. So what this would be returning, divisors, is 5. What we need to do is add 1 to this, and this should work. So let's attempt it. And it passed all 107 test cases. So that is the count the divisors of a number problem on Code Wars. I hope that this video was valuable and you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.